Welcome back to my channel. This is Miss Nikki underscore L. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Kat, v Kat Von D La Vida Loca palette. I purchased this palette a couple weeks ago and I had done an initial like first impressions review on it. But unfortunately I lost the footage and slash or it wasn't that great of a video for just keeping it real here. And sorry if I keep touching my hair. I keep seeing it in a viewfinder and it's just... It's not cute today, it's being, I don't know. Anyway, um, I still wanted to get this video up because I have a lot to say. Well, not a lot to say about it, but I just wanted to get it up. Anyway, so looks like this. It retails for $59 on Sephora. Right now, again, it is out of stock, but it has been going in and out of stock like almost all the time, as well as you can probably find this on eBay. Um, this has... To about around 24 grams of product um, each pan has 1.1 grams of product it comes in a case like this the casing is really beautiful you can see it looks like that and um, it's supposed to be after like a vinyl disc aka I mean hence Kat Von D and when you open it up it looks like this and these are all the colors I have used it already quite a few times and that's why I could feel more comfortable doing a better review on it Anyways, um, I'm just going to get started and say I love this palette. I feel like this is definitely the must-have palette for the season. It's a must-have palette for beginners, for collectors, and for just, I mean, makeup lovers. Pretty much everybody. It has so many colors in it. It has all these nice neutral colors. I use these colors almost every day. These colors are very equivalent to my Naked um, Basics palettes and they look beautiful on the eyes they're all super pigmented super creamy and none of them go on really chalky um, and then they also have an amazing variety of colors so there is 24 colors like I said um, and I want to go over the downsides real quick I don't really like that this is so huge as it is um, I wish it was more condensed into like a smaller palette but I do think the packaging is pretty and I like the idea behind it um, it was a really, I mean, it was a good idea, but something in me just doesn't like the spacing in this palette. And, um, I think that's really one of the only downsides is just the packaging. I don't like also that you have to take it out because I just feel like it's not as, it's not very suitable for like travel purposes because this could easily fall out of, oops, this could easily fall out. You have to slide it out. So that's not convenient for me. Anyways, um, that's my whole opinion. If I could probably give this 10 stars out of 10, I basically would. Um, it's like at a 9.75. I try to be as picky in products that I can be, but yet I always only review products that I usually basically like. So yeah, anyways, let me get into this watch. It's going to be kind of loud outside. There is some construction going outside my house and I just don't have time to wait until it's over. So here are all the swatches. I want to point out that this are all the swatches without any primer at all. This is just a finger swatch on my skin. So you can see how freaking intense these babies are. There's Molder. Next we have is Stutter. The next one down here, that would be Vox. And the next row, it starts with Lyric. Then we have Noble right here. And then Black Metal. When we come over here, we have Shells. Skulls, just kidding. This is Skulls. Then we have Love. Then we have Anthem. Then we have, next row, we're going to go in with Muse. Then we're going to go with Echo is that purpley color right there then we have dark wave this beautiful deep blue I love this color as well as synth synth is my absolute favorite that really top blue up there um, hyper ballad hyper ballad is another pretty the blues in here do not disappoint then we have lemmy misfit we have vinyl and the least pigmented one out of all of them is legend it's not pigmented at all you can barely see it on the thing it's like a light gold color then we come over here, we have Fran, we have Analog, Harpsichord, 
And then the last row, we have Rewind, which is this top really pretty color for fall. We have Destroyer, and we have Swoon. So there are all the swatches. So yeah, that is basically it. Again, I absolutely recommend this palette. It is so, so pretty. If you can get your hands on it, I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend it. Um, like you saw, there was only like one or two colors that weren't that pigmented, but the rest of them make up for it 100%. And at the price point of $59 for 24 colors, that is not bad whatsoever. I love it. And yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching my video. Please comment, please rate, and if you liked me, then go ahead and click the subscribe button. See you guys next time. Bye, love. Girl, you're turning me on.